channel so i'm back with another get ready with me and today i'm going to be showing you how i install my wig my outfit my makeup and all, everything basically everything all together so this wig is from hair vivi and this is one of their highlighted wig units i'm not sure what the name of the wig is but, but i'll make sure to list it down below in the description box so if you want to see how i got this whole look together then make sure you stay tuned and carry on watching and i'll see you guys in my next one i'm gonna go ahead and install the wig you guys can see the hairline looks amazing looks really really good so i'm actually going out tonight so this is the wig i'm going to be wearing i'm doing a full get ready with me up to the house don't feel like it now i'ma just lay back and crack this window Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and style the wig. I'm thinking of going for a side parting today. The wig came pre styled, so there's not really much to do to it aside from just hot comb the top of the wig. Like, guys, I love this blonde, like, I love the way the wig is looking already. I just wish it wasn't stained with the purple shampoo. If you guys know, how I can get rid of um, purple shampoo stain on the wig. Please let me know because this is just annoying. It's at the front as well. I'm gonna look so cute today. I'm wearing a skirt and you guys, listen, I never wear skirts because I'm not really a skirt type of person. I prefer to wear trousers because I feel, oh my God, the whole time. Yes, as I was saying, I'm not really a skirt type of person. I prefer to wear trousers because I feel way more comfortable. I can move around a lot more, but I feel like when you're wearing a skirt or um, a dress, you kind of have to be cautious of how you're moving around so but today i'm wearing a skirt and a corset top so So I've done my brows off camera. I feel like they look quite thick. Hmm. And you guys know I always do my brows um, after I do my base. But I said, you know what? Let me try something different today. So I don't know. But um, I'm going to go ahead and take off my elastic band. It's the melt for me. It is the melt for me. Okay. This is fully melted. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow and um, I'm gonna start off by using the Laura Mercier um, concealer to prime my eyelid. Can a nigga catch a break? Give a pretty brown girl her space. I'm going for a full glam today, but I still wanna look. I don't know, I only do a full glam, but keep. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelid just so you know that concealer doesn't move. And this way I have a matte base to work on with my eyeshadow i don't know how people are able to just do that eyeshadow without you know setting their eyelids and then i'm just going to apply the same powder on my eyebrows yes we're baking the brows today and um so guys i really want to get into tiktok because <laughs> everyone's been telling me to start tiktok but i feel like i'm that auntie that does not know how to use tiktok which is crazy because even aunties nowadays are on tiktok so what am i doing but i genuinely don't know how to use the app i have the app on my phone i watch people's videos and stuff but i don't know how to use it and i've tried several times but i just can't seem to um get into it like how do people come up with the content the type of content that they create and stuff like that is it like you just i don't know 
so if you guys have any ideas on what i can do let me know anyway i'll come back to my brows later so moving on to eyeshadow now so i feel like because my hair's blonde i don't really want my eyeshadow to be you know too loud but i'm going to be working with these two eyeshadow palettes today this is the the saharan 2 palette by juvia's place and then this is the she deserves her roses palette by mix and blend on instagram so i'm going to go in with both eyeshadow palettes today and i'm going to use this shade right here as my transition shade when it's my truth i own i speak it all makes sense now give it a good yeah. i'm gonna go into this shade from the roses palette uh. put that on good when it gets hard stay on my job like no days off so you can go home and then for my eyelid i'm gonna apply these two shades right here so that's the gold and the purple so i'm just gonna go in between both shades and just pop that on my eyelid all right so guys my eyeshadow is done this is very different for me because you guys know i don't it's not me so i'm gonna move on to my base now um so i have this primer i have the ysl primer and i really want to try this primer but guys i have oily skin and i'm actually going out tonight so i don't know if this is the time to try this primer but i'm gonna give it a go i've heard so many good things about this primer but let's see so i've only got the sample because um the girl that was working at the tilt said i should actually really try this so i said okay i'm gonna try it let's see it feels really good on the skin i'll say that but I feel like I'm still gonna go in with a mattifying primer just for my own security, should I say, because... <laughs> okay, so today I'm gonna use my um, Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I absolutely... You guys can see this is nearly done. This is actually my favourite foundation. When it's my truth I own, I speak it all make sense now. Give it a good... Yeah. okay so guys it's all coming together i'm gonna go ahead and use my morphe face palette to contour my face and yes i already applied my blusher i feel like i kind of prefer to apply apply my blusher before i contour my face because then everything just kind of merges together when you apply your blusher after you contour it's just sitting on your face so i prefer to do it this way i don't know it could just be in my head i don't know So I've got my lashes on now and this is what we're looking like. Like it's coming together. This is definitely a very full coverage, um, full glam makeup look because it's a lot going on. So I'm just gonna set my face one more time. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This setting spray is so good and I really really like this one. It really helps to lock your makeup in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just press that into my skin. okay so guys we're nearly done so i've just applied the collection matte liquid lipstick literally i only apply the smallest amount of this i'm using the morphe lip liner in the shade trendsetter i'ma just lay back and crack this window i'm gonna apply this lip gloss from aronze cosmetics on instagram doing my best So guys, 
guys i'm now ready and this is the finished look i really feel like something is missing but i can't really put my finger on it so when it comes to my outfits so i'm wearing this corset top from zara and i've paired it with this skirt which is actually from a different two-piece i think the skirt is from a brand called cuckoo on instagram and i really hope that's how you say the name of the brand but um yeah i'm gonna list it down below in the um description box anyway so this is me for tonight you guys let me know what you think for my bag um, i'm carrying this cute mini pink bag from brandon blackwood and i'm pair and then my shoes And then I'm wearing these heels that I got from ASOS. They're so cute and they're very comfortable as well. Not too high as you guys can see. Because you guys know I can't really... I can walk in heels but not too high. So I'm going to put my heels on right now. The only thing about this skirt is that I kind of have to keep pulling it down. You know. So you guys let me know what you think of this fit. I think this is cute. i got the world on. So yeah guys, this is me for the night. Very cute. And for perfume, I think I'm gonna go with, I don't know, that's the thing. I'm always in between these two. I'm gonna go with my Chanel today and yeah. I'm gonna use some oud oil that I got from Dubai on my neck first. I feel like when you spray your perfume over like oil based, it lasts longer so. So yeah guys, and my earrings, I've just kept it very simple. I've just worn this little, um, hoops that I got from I can't remember where they're from but I'll also like write that on the screen or list it down below so yeah that brings me to the end of this video and once again my wig is from hair vivi so I'm going to make sure to list all the links and details that you guys need to know down below in the description box so please make sure you check so please make sure you check below for anything you'd like to know and I'll see you guys in my next one bye